To complete the merge, we need to excise Hephaestus' malicious code. Carefully. Redundant copy. You've cost us quite a lot of time. <laughs> Eric, get beta. And squash that bug while you're at it. <laughs> Screwing around. Now we're having fun, right? Zelda, get Gaia and Hephaestus ready for transport. Zelda! I failed. Hush. All is not lost. Zelda! What the hell are you doing? Stop her! No, I can't even see her! You're awake. You took quite a hit when Gerard attacked you. I imagine you must still be in a great deal of pain. I can assure you that we are safe. The others can't detect us here. You mean the other Zeniths? You must be Tilda. I wasn't sure if... Beta would have told you about me. Where is she? Alive. And while she isn't where she wants to be, not in urgent danger. We must discuss how to get her back, of course, after you've shaken off the cobwebs. When you're ready, take the stairs down the hall and, and come see me. In the meantime, I'll make breakfast. Breakfast? Okay.
is this? Just a few favorites from my collection. Rescued and stored here just before I went off world. Take a look, if you like. I'm curious to hear your impressions. My friend is dead. Beta and Gaia are gone, and you want me to look at old paintings? Don't be so quick to dismiss the comfort we can find in art. Or the insight we might gain. My favorite pairing on the left is Woman Reading a Letter by Vermeer, a true master. And on the right is a forgery, Woman Reading Music, which fooled experts into believing it was a priceless original. Early in my career, I became fascinated with such deceptions. Eventually, I developed scanning software that could detect fakes with unparalleled accuracy. Is that how you made enough money to buy your way onto the Odyssey? Oh, no. I made my real fortune later. Selene and Endymion. She's the goddess of the moon, whereas he's a simple shepherd. Beside her is the god of love, Cupid. So she's... sneaking up on him? More like visiting him in secret. The torch that Cupid bears represents Selene's undying infatuation with him. Though the two must remain apart, her love will forever burn. This is Rembrandt painting Jeremiah, a man in mourning. Mourning what? His home. The ancient city of Jerusalem. He foresaw its impending doom, but could do nothing to prevent it. So instead, he saved its treasures from destruction, just as I saved these works. You could say we're kindred spirits. A portrait of the painter, Rembrandt's son, Titus, depicted in the habit of a monk. I don't get it. Why would someone like you, with infinite resources, care about this painting of... A boy in a hood. It's not the image itself, but the feeling it conveys. The face is bright and defined, but his eyes are downcast, heavy with misfortune. And the background seems to swallow all light. The painting is infused with a sense of loss. I guess I understand how the painter feels. Rembrandt's The Night Watch. By far the most famous painting my homeland ever produced. It was commissioned to honor a militia made up of influential citizens. I guess you must have been an influential citizen. In my day. But not as influential as you've been in this new world. The Gust. By Willem van de Velde. The most famous of his many maritime paintings. A ship crossing into the unknown. I guess you're familiar with that. Indeed, which is why I appreciate this composition in particular. Though waves and wind threaten to destroy the ship, it perseveres, clinging to the light even as darkness closes in all around it. Stunning, isn't it? Paintings weren't the only masterpieces of my people's golden age. This is Von Vianen's lidded ewer, molded from a single sheet of silver. What was it for? How like Elizabeth you are. <laughs> Function over form. Its practical purpose was less important than its meaning. Von Vianen created it in honor of his late brother, who himself was a famous silversmith. Memorial. Yes. <laughs> Such beauty from sorrow. Done so soon? I've got more important things to worry about. We both do. There is much we are trying to save.
There you are. Feeling better? How did you find us at the cauldron? And what did you do to everyone right before I passed out? All business, I see. Well, suffice it to say we were keeping a very close eye on Hephaestus, knowing we would need it at some point. Your ruse didn't fool us, and as for my little trick, it was an overload of the senses, accompanied by an energy discharge. Gerard and Eric were only momentarily disoriented due to their shields, but it, it rendered you unconscious while I got you out. Perhaps some breakfast might steady you a bit? This was your house. The one you recreated for Beta in the data channel you shared. How perceptive of you. Please, this way. After everything your people have done, you think I'm just gonna sit down and have a chat with you? They're not my people. They never were, and especially not now. You shot off into space with them, and lived with them for a thousand years before coming back. So what made you suddenly turn on them? Quite simply, this. My old focus. You repaired it? But that means you've seen incredible things. What you've accomplished in two decades of life. A thousand years at my back and I haven't even come close. I'm sorry if I invaded your privacy, but I had to. In order to understand, to be enlightened. You truly are. Elizabeth's blood. With her drive, her sense of mission, her integrity. Watching all this shamed me for the company that I've kept. Having seen it, all I want is to help you. Even if it means stopping your friends? Especially so. Please, sit down. That's better. Now, we must recover Beta and Gaia at all costs. By now, you must know that Gerard intends to use Gaia to reboot the Earth's biosphere. Remaking this world to specifications that would only suit us immortals. This process will kill every living thing on the planet. He calls it a clean install. Not if I stop him first. Not if we do. And once he and the others are gone, we can work together to fulfill Elizabeth's dream. I'm sure Beta told you that there's a build of the Apollo database on board our ship. A complete collection of human knowledge. With that and Gaia, we could do everything Elizabeth wanted. Heal the biosphere, educate the people of this world, uplift them. Create the world she imagined. <clears throat> Let's not get ahead of ourselves. From what I've seen, your friends are invincible. I do wish you would stop calling them my friends. And they're not invincible. In fact, a friend of yours has found a way to defeat them. Silence. Oh, he's been a busy bee building an army powerful enough to crash through Gerard's precious base. Regala and her rebels. Even now she's preparing a final march on the Tanakh the capital. When she wins, she'll have the entire tribe under her control. Hundreds of warriors and machines to throw at the base. She's been duped. They'll all perish, of course. But it should be enough to break Gerard's defenses and allow silence to kill him along with all the others. 
Using the new weapon he's developed. Yes, he's found a way to circumvent our shields. Truly an exceptional man, he's planned for everything. Except you and me. You see, while his army is battering down Gerard's doors, you and I will sneak in through a back way. One that only I know about. While Silence and my friends are busy battling each other, we'll take back Beta and Gaia. I told you I want to help you. I mean it. My old focus. When we encountered you at the Hades Proving, I knew better. You were... After your dramatic, Gerard and Eric assumed you were dead and gave up the hunter. When the others were busy, I... That's when I found this. Not easy to repair, but certainly old. You were like a splash of color on a worn canvas. Did you show it to the others? Of course not. It was your... Them. It's worth noting that if I... I wouldn't have known to save you at... So I should be grateful. If you like. So you know all about... What would you like? Well? When I was eight, terrorists, thousands drowned, my parents included... My guardian. <laughs> so among my peers, I would... All because of circumstance. Oh. Aren't we? You are an outcast. Neither did I. I climbed my way out of desolate, first from the technical, profitable expert, but as it turned out, the from there it was only a short step to gathering extreme... You were a spy? More like a service. I had to remain anonymous to protect my privacy. But despite that anonymity... What happened when... They painted an ear... One where... Where we explored the furthest... It was only later... They only intended to bequeath this future. By the time I find Faro's machines were devoured, so I accepted Farzenith's. I wanted Liz to come. So you didn't know the other Zeniths were mon- I, I knew some of them were. It wasn't until we were off. I was grateful, but the others became a- They built a colony where machine or fantasy could be and It wasn't life. As the decades passed, I withdrew more alone yet again. Now finally having met- To do what? help you to fulfill a better future for humanity. You said Beta is not an urgent- Putting her to work. A difficult, time-consuming- They will compel her if need be. She's the only one who- Because you people made her- Gerard's idea, not- mine. They always viewed me with suspicion when I attempted- and That's why I created the Data Channel. So this channel you shared with Beta, none of the other- Gerard believes he's the most cunning of all of us. Even after a thousand years, he still can't... The channel allowed me to interact with... It offered us a chance... Until you cut off all... Yes. Though it pained me. She felt like you sighed. I was afraid to punish her. She may not have had the comfort, but at least I ensure... I know it seems, but you must believe... Why did you make the data channel... I built this house as a shelter... A safe place. Not just for cultural art truly some of the and you wanted beta yes i thought if she could experience it would bring a heritage every data beam i'm sorry i had to cut off contact but she needed its shelter even more beta told me your you came back to earth because you it's true after we reached our death we spent decades the physical constraints of earth about think of what we could have done it might have been a utopia instead we stagnated absorbed these it took a cataclysm to fall out of our stupor. What happened? A massive geo. We knew of instabilities in the planet, estimated them. By the time the collapse was, only a few of us made it to the ship in time. We set course for Earth left to us. Which you decided it's for anyone else. Not me. He believes it's better to wipe the camp work around the smudges. No more primitive tribes, no more. Only a bull pleases. But we will stop him. What exactly is your... We will make use of a lesson I learned from an early age. In this case, a place where Gerard's new construction meets the ancient... Pa a passage that... 
When Silence flings his army at the base, we will enter through this back door. Fighting. The distraction will... Once we're inside the base... Here, in the command center. By then, Gaia will including Hephaestus. What about the alpha build of Apollo on your... Sh A simple matter of recovery. Others have been done. With that in hand, we'll have... How do you know... He isn't the only one a dead by where. You hacked this? No, he's too careful. But his subor He gave additional focuses to the tribals he- The ones working with Regal. By tapping their focuses, I learned about my the distribution of override tech and the secret pact with Regala too. But how did he come up with a weapon that can take- That's the one thing I- But however he- With it and the Tanakh army. Vic- Such a shame. Regala's only interested in- What does she have to gain? It's the price she must pay for, without the ability to override Mr. Little Rebellion. So she trades with the sons of Prometheus. In exchange for an on the base. Pride has deluded her into thinking. And all without ever knowing who the sons of- Yet for all of Silence's brilliance, still he under- That blind spot is what will allow us to- While hundreds of Tanakh the kite. So you kn Liss was everything she was. I see in you. Your ingenuity, your determination, your moral compass. You've managed to distill her greatest qualities and make them your own. I'm not asking about me. The honest answer. For all the time that I spent with her, she always kept her. It was... So when you met... Not aloof. It was a summit in Paris. Because regulatory authorities were just starting to... Liz gave the... She had already achieved great renown for her work in automated and but in her address, she, an AI-driven system, but actually take response to care about life. Revolutionary stuff. I watched her after she had spoken with such moral authority. I could tell she felt it was as if giving I didn't want to be a pest, so I So how did you find I picked the right moment. Right as she came back her coffee. She was fresh. It was like she had break colleagues. I asked if I could then put forth a question. Thought was intelligent. Her answer made me real, but she was very welcoming. Previous, it was only halfway through the conversation that I realized she exactly who I was. It was my business was trafficking in anonymity, so that was Liz. I came to view our meeting as a medship. She always seemed to know I knew her. I guess I know the. First Faro, now Hikaru and the Tanakh. Your plan would wipe out an entire tribe. There has to be another way. We are in an admittedly desperate situation, but I assure you there isn't. Remember Zero Dawn. Elizabeth's sacrifice, sometimes many have to die for a new world to grow. If it looks impossible, look deeper. Wait. The data channel. It still exists, doesn't it? I need you to open it. Let me talk to Beta. Impossible, we might be detected. It's worth the risk. There is another way, one where the Tanakh survive. But we won't. If the others... If you want to help, open it. What are they doing to her? Virtual reality dissociation. The manual merge of Hephaestus will take hours upon hours of tedious micromanagement. If she resists the work, they run simulations to induce feelings of isolation and despair. 
Beta, can you hear me? You're alive. They're watching me. I, I, I can't hold up this extra projection for long. You should have killed me. No. No, look at me. I'm coming for you. I promise. Okay? I just need you to hold out a little while longer and work on the merch. Contact again when it's time. Can you hold on? As long as I know you're coming for me, I can endure anything. All right. I did as you asked. Now I think you need to tell me what you're planning. I'm going to take Silent's army away. I don't need it. Only the weapon he made to penetrate your shields. And how do you propose to get it? Ask him nicely? Without Regala and her rebels, he won't have a choice. We'll be his only option. Only option for what? What did you tell her? That is between me and my sister. Will be Silent's only option for crashing that base. I'll tell you the rest later. But first, there are a couple of things I have to do. Oh. And what are those? Lay my friend to rest. And then I'm going to use the override that Beta gave me at Gemini to put an end to Regala's rebellion. From the air. Wait. Since you insist on doing things your way, I know of something that will truly help you make a grand entrance with the Tanakh. The ancient Horus Titans still possess electromagnetic energy cells as part of their arsenal. Drop one of those on Regala's army and they'll receive quite a surprise. So go, do what you must. I'll come to your base if you manage to bring silence to the table. Not if. When. Aaron, are you there? Aloy! Aloy, is that really you? Yeah, it's, it's me. Where's everyone else? We're all... We're back at base. What happened? It... It might be easier to explain in person. I'll try to join you there when I can. Okay. I... We'll wait here for you. It's good to hear your voice, Aloy. A behemoth could bring down a mountain if it wanted to. <laughs> <laughs> 